Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we're getting it all in transference. Now this was developed by Funhouse, published by Ubisoft and I know you're thinking, hmm, this game came out in 2018. The hell, Brassif? But it is on sale right now for this week only for £5.99 slash $6.24 when it's usually $19.99 slash $24.99 so get it while you can, it's a hell of a price jump. Now this is a short explorative game, but there is so much packed into it, you're going to need to wrap your head around it just to figure out what went on. We basically need to piece together a family's mystery as we deal with crystals, some, uh, some weird monster thing, and a lot of other stuff. Uh, now as for achievements, a lot are story related, but the ones we will mainly be going for are the 11 audio logs and the 13 video logs that we have to find, including, yes, it's called a VHS tape, so anyone from the um, crap talk generation will probably not know what that is, I'll, more, I'll explain more later, um, but this should take no more than 30 minutes or so, it's fun, it's tense, it's easy, or what we love in a video game. Now I've tried my best to go quick but kind of slow so that you can keep up and again, all in all, 30 minutes or so is all we need. So with that being said then, let us begin. So we're going to press the A button there to start a new game, of course. Now, we can't sprint or anything in this game. Uh, slam your brightness up, go on. Nobody ever listens to the adjusting of the brightnesses. Um, but it's uh, left stick to move, we can press and hold the B button to skip um, big virgin dude right here. I'm joking, he's good, probably got a bigger wang than me to be fair. No, that's not hard. <laughs> Less sad, le cry. So, um, we're going to press the A button to pick things up. So as we begin, like I said, there's no sprint button. You can crouch by clicking in the left stick. Um, but we're going to walk past the door. There's going to be a bag on our left that we are going to find. And we're going to pick up a key. Now, like I said, a lot of the times he does go slow. But there's a lot of stuff going on. So don't worry about needing to sprint. So pick it up. Sometimes it can get a bit finicky as we turn around. If you, uh, Just press the right trigger if you want to take a look at what you've just picked up. Um, yeah, sometimes it can get kind of finicky with picking stuff up. You've got to wait until the little white arrow is above it. Um, stick the key in the golden slot just above the door right there. So again, you need to wait until the little white arrow is on it. Then press the A button to interact with it and press the A button again. Walk in. Little puzzle to do here. What you need to do is press the C. Uh, which is the top right, the D, which is the bottom left, press the D, <laughs> dare you, and then press the E, which is the bottom middle. So, if you do that in that order, we will unlock our first achievement, and we will also get in there. So, into the rabbit hole. So, a little bit of a cutscene is going to play out here, I hope you finished pressing the D, I hope so, because how are you playing the game and pressing the D at the same time? That's impressive. Right, interact with the switch light here on the left-hand side. And we're going to go into the sort of modern, uh, you know, us alive modern story times right now. So keep going forward, and then on the staircase, turn left and head up. And then up a do ba do And there's going to be another light switch directly in front of us that we're going to switch to go back into the, you know, we'll call it the monster era, the monster arena. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, so what we can do from here, we're going to head down the steps now. We need to get through that door on our right. Um, so we're going to interact with this light switch, just uh, as it was to the left of the door. And we're going to head back down. I'm not sure if that was totally necessary, but we got there in the end. So keep heading down, keep heading down the steps until we get to this like basement type thing. Keep heading straight. And then as we turn to the left, you're going to see the knocker. So uh, press the A button there to pick it up. There it is. C for clip barb. Or, or is that G? Jesus Christ, my eyes. Right, anyway, we're going to head all the way back up the steps. I'm going blind, so that's unlucky for, well, everyone, really. Keep going up. Keep heading up the steps for now until we get to the sort of corner door again. And then, actually, what we're going to do before we get there, we're going to interact with this light switch again. And it's to, to bring us back into the sort of monster era type thing. The past. We'll just call it the past and the present. That'll do. So heading up to the door, pop it on. And that will be the Into the Rabbit Hole achievement. All done. And eventually we can start nipping in. And this is where we will spend the rest of the game in our house. It's all spooky and stuff. So you're going to head to the right. Little boy's going to wander off. We're going to turn around and grab our first audio log. So interact with the tape machine. Nope, that's a leaflet. The sort of um, audio log tape machine right there. 
And again, the crap talk generation are literally having, probably having a stroke looking at that. What the hell is that? So from there, turn around into this sort of billiards room, if you want to call it that. Interact with the videotape inside the uh, drawer there with the projector. So as soon as you listen to it and as soon as you pick it up, that will count. But that should be audio 1 and video log 1 out of 11 and 13. Um, we're going to be grabbing... Um, by the way, press the B button to put stuff down. You don't actually have to grab stuff with you. Um, and you can have a look at the, the video logs to see if it's counted. But yes, when you pick stuff up, you can just press the B button to put it down. A lot of the time we don't actually need stuff. But heading down towards the hallway, going to the right, interacting with the light switch. Now the monster, I think, can speak to you and it can be a bit spooky, but he never jumps out, so near panic. Go straight forward in front of us and into the modern day we will interact with the same uh, tape recorder type thing that we got earlier on. That'll be number two out of 11. So turn around, go through the door, interact with the crystal to pick it up. Uh, and you're going to put that on the machine, and that will be the first out of three that we need for the main game, and that will get us the strange machine achievement. And basically what it's going to do is go nuts and send us back to the past. So, well, job done. Right, heading through the main door, what we're going to do is turn to the right, keep going, and then we can see a couple of letters, well, one letter on the floor. That will be I for, well, I. We're going to stick that in the third one of the password of the door, so put that in the third. And then from here, we can go back through the main hallway into the sort of uh, main area by the front door here. Go out the front door, and you're going to see the letter A. Who keeps losing these goddamn letters? Anyway, go back to the door, and we're going to place that on the second, second line, as it were. That's not the second one, that's the first one. Close enough, there we go. So, directly left, go into the kitchen, and we're going to get a couple of things here. We're going to interact with the light switch first, though. There it is. Now, first things first, we're going to interact with this radio here, just underneath the um, cupboards. What you need to do is just press the left bumper until you see, uh, I think it's on like 98 or 99, um, until you see it turn red. You'll know exactly when it does, because it turns and glows red like that. Uh, interact with the light switch in this kitchen again. And then just do the same thing with the radio. Um, I think it's roughly about the same, so like 98... Between 96 and 100 anyway, there she blows. And that will get us the radio frequency achievement. Look at us, man. So we're flying now, flying. Right, so from here, what we're going to do, again, you can have a listen to the uh, commentary and uh, the dialogue and stuff if you want. Uh, sometimes we actually have to wait for it for a door to open. Other times you can just move on. But this is one of those that I believe that we just have to wait. And... <laughs> it's coming. Well, yeah, you better phone. You better phone the uh, police on that guy. He going to prison. Uh, anyway, the door will now be opened. So what we're going to do is head straight into the monster-looking thing until we die. Now nah, we're still alive. But what we can do now is just turn directly around. We basically end up back in the kitchen. So go straight forward in front of us and grab the key. I didn't grab the key. Grab the key. Come on, grab the key. Okay, there she goes. Grab the key, go straight and uh, unlock the kitchen door. And we're now going to head outside. We're going to grab another couple of audio and video logs. So head down the steps. And you see the little type shack shed type thing here on the right hand side. Crouch down by pressing the left stick button. Interact with the boom box. And everyone younger than 30 is just going, what? Uh, turn directly around, have a look up and you can see the vinyl record. That is a new video as well. So that'll be number three and two for audio and video logs. So now we can head up these steps once again. It's all about perspective. Some monster is coming on me or something. Right, head through the door. And then what we can do is just interact with the light switch once again to get back into the present. Here we are, corn cereals. Well, that looks disgusting. Right, interact with the audio log here. It just looks like um, an MP3 player type thing. That's still not present enough. But interact with that. That'll be the next audio log. Then we can head directly outside once again. Head down these same steps that we just did. Man, nice garden. 
that's when you know you're old is when you're looking at games gardens in video games and appreciating it uh, head through this door here on the left hand side into the garage and then what you can do is interact with the computer here to turn it on and then interact with the little USB stick there as well for the next video. So you'll always know when you picked up a new video because it'll have that menu log available, 36%, blah, blah, blah. Now go ahead and interact with the filing cabinet directly next to it. Get the picture out, press the right trigger, and that'll get us an easily missable achievement actually called Behind the Curtain. Behind the Curtain, the, Ter the Terrence and Phillips story. So with that one done, turn directly around, we're going to be grabbing another video in this file, uh, locker right here. The video is just underneath the lab coat, so make sure to pick that one up there, so that is the next two videos done. And then what we can do as soon as the computer switches off and the video is all done, that is your QL exit. So we can just head back out into the garden. And we can start heading back up now, nothing else to do. Now, of course, some of the audio and video logs can be highly missable if you've gone too far forward in the story and you don't get them in the past, etc, etc. So, just be very careful and wary of that. You just crap me up there, bro. Uh, interact with the MP3 player again, uh, just for the next audio log. And we can go through the door here on the left, go through the right uh, into the next main hallway. And then what we can do... Once again, is interact with this sort of tape machine player for the next audio log. Flying through them now. Go backwards. Sort of back towards the kitchen area. You have to make a choice. Okay, I want to go to bed. Interact with the cupboard again. It's now turned into this awesome looking weird thing. Right, um, what I'm going to do is actually show you where the next video is. And it is just in these cupboards right here on the left. So interact with that, but we can't actually grab them yet. So we need... Now, what you normally need to do is go ahead, have a look around, and find a particular password. But, of course, we just want to get through as quickly as we can. So, I'll just tell you it. So, it is going to be 2, 4, 7, 6. So, 2, 4, 7, 6. That is what you need. That will give you the access of grantedness. Congratulations on the access of grantedness. Right, that'll get you the achievement Snowflake, which, again, millions of people are probably offended by that. I'm not a snowflake! Uh, but now we can interact with the USB stick and get the next video. Uh, because, obviously, we've just uncovered what we needed to uncover. And now we can interact with this weird machine on the left, as soon as you've grabbed that. Okay, that's the beginning of my name. Yeah! Right, now we can pick it up. And, of course, we now need to go back to the past. So, head down... Uh, thank you very much for that. We're just going to head through the door. Oh, in fact, no, we're going to interact with the kitchen light. Sorry. Let's interact with kitchen light first, huh? Now what we're going to do is just head straight through. And, of course, the reason we've done that is because we are now by the bedroom here. So put K on the ve uh, the third one. Yes, the third one. Turn directly around. Go back into the kitchen. And the A and L for achievement land. Oh, my God. I put bills in here. Um, anyway, A and L will be there, so we can put L on the first one, and we can put A for achievement on the very last one. So the password is Leica. H I Leica. A F J. A F J K. God assassinate A. Right, so what we can do now is just head straight through and interact with that little bit of black, and then turn directly around, have a look at the computer desk. Don't worry about the sand or whatever bottle that is, um, just interact with the walkie-talkie there for the next audio log. Now again, you don't have to actually look at it with the right trigger, you can just pick it up and that'll count. Go back um, towards the cupboard and interact with the DVD, and that will be, or the disc or whatever, that'll be the next video anyway. So that should be the next audio log and the next video log right there. Um, got a bit paranoid, I didn't think it would count, but it did, as long as you picked it up. Because sometimes the dialogue may be different, so just be wary of that. So pick up the crystal there, open the drawer, pick up the crystal, go around, and then immediately interact with the light switch. Again, the monster will be a bit like, oh, oh, but I don't think he chases you, I don't think. Anyway, interact with the first door on our right in the crystal machine room. Stick that on, boy, and that is the next achievement done. So we've got roughly now about 10 minutes worth of gameplay left, which is not bad, but we've synchronized Benjamin. Job done. Right there, man. Only one more crystal to go. So, head through the red door. What we're going to do, though, as soon as we head through, turn directly around and the door should be closed. Open it up. And there's going to be the next video reel. Again, very highly missable. 
And there is a clown in there. Boris Johnson looks very familiar with that one. Uh, turn directly around, and I'm going to stand here for a few seconds for no reason. Uh, but we are going to be going through the door on the right, which of course will be the crystal room in the present day. Um, interact with these uh, covers to pick up the light bulb here from the right hand side and then immediately just go straight into this main sort of living quarters if you want to call it that turn around and then interact with the fourth bulb so when you interact with the fourth bulb there's going to be a little piano puzzle to do now so what we're going to do is interact with the second of the black keys the ones that are flashing I mean the second then the next one up and then the next one up and then the very end one that is flashing. So again, uh, be, be wary of that one. But it should be 2, 3, 4 and 6. If you want to call it that. But that will get us the Maestro Achievement. And that um, we've uncorrupted the music room. Yeah, it's not living quarters, it's a music room. So heading through these new double doors. Interact with the video here on the bottom of this uh, little table with the two lamps on. That's the next video. T turn, uh, turn to the right, interact with the filing cabinet again. Interact with the next video. Dude's got a lot of filing cabinets. What are you hiding on these? Again, millennium, millennials and anyone under 30 is having a stroke right now. Like, what the hell is a VHS tape? Oh. Um, but it's something we had to do. Instead of um, waiting for five seconds on YouTube and skipping the ads, we had to flick through them. Right, so heading out of the main hallway, the dad or whatever is just going to walk away creepily. Turn to the right. Go through the uh, main door straight in front of us to go into the bedroom. And we are going to get eaten alive by monster. Just like from Lost. But this actually comes in handy. So interact with the filing camera here on the very right hand side. It's going to be a random light switch. And that's all we ever wanted in life, huh? Was to move on. Move forward. And here we are back in the bathroom. Nice little bathroom. Anyway, straight through the door. Into this main area again. Down the hallway. And then for the first time in this music room, not living quarters, music room, go right through the double doors. Now you're going to see this little um, sand glass, hourglass sand thing right there. Now that is in the boys' bedroom in the past. So we're going to head through to the kitchen, open up the door and be like, Stop standing there, bro. You're crapping the pants off me. Interact with the light switch. And of course, we're going to be back in the past, back in the kitchen. Without a door for some reason this time. Um, right, so head in th through to the bedroom, that is where we go in, and we're going to interact with the glass sand bottle sand, and that's creepy, stop creeping up on me, nice clown painting, anyway, head straight through back to the music room area, there she blows my little hose, and um, we're going to get a couple of audio logs and everything, so the first one just by the fireplace, this is where the next audio log is, turn to your left, and the sort of disc will be the next video log, and then that will be that for this area. So again, it's the disc here the next, for the next video log, and the audio log is just in front of the fireplace. But from here, we can just turn directly around. What we're going to do is head back to the kitchen area. So now we've got those two. Again, make sure to grab those two audio and video logs. Head to the kitchen, and we're going to go back to the Presentios. This stupid kid. Don't you swear at me, you little bar stool. How very dare you. Right, now we're back into the present. Uh, go through. You, get, get away, you big glasses, broski. Uh, anyway, head back through to the music room, to the double doors on the right. Now what we're going to do is, if we interact the bottle there with the hourglass, turn it and then immediately go to the bottom left-hand corner. This is going to happen and then just look straight down and then pick up the next audio log off the table. If it doesn't work, just... Um, just turn the hourglass again and then just do the same thing and it should work. If it doesn't work the first time, don't worry, it'll work the second time. Now put the time to 9.56. Again, using the right bumper and left bumper there, so make sure it's 9.56. And then all kinds of crazy crap's going to go on and you'll get the time is relative achievement. Have a look at the USB stick here on top of the fireplace this time for the next video. New log. Go behind the TV right here, and it's maybe hard to see, but you can just see it flash in there, is the next VHS tape. I have plenty of VHS tape with a lot of The Simpsons on it. Growing up, great days. Right, before leaving, grab the next audio log here from on top of this equipment, uh, just by the double doors and everything. So that should be two audio logs and two video logs that you've got in this room. So make sure that you've grabbed all four of them before leaving. The doors then will automatically open. 
And we are going to grab the next audio log, which is the is the tape machine again, the tape recorder. Which will always stand the test of time. But that should actually be the Broken Family achievement. Um, for getting all the audio logs from there. Now we can pick up the crystal in this weird room. And of course, what we're going to do is head back to the crystal room, which will be the door on the left here. Oh, wait. We need to go back to the past. So, interact with the light switch, of course, first. And now we can head through to the crystal room. There, she blows me up. Stick it in. And we have just synchronized Raymond. We... Man, everybody loves Raymond. Everybody loves that guy. Right, don't leave through the red door just yet. Do not leave. There's another videotape. Um, literally by the wires on the floor. So if we crouch down, might be maybe kind of hard to see because it's in the dark. But if we crouch down, you can probably just see on the bottom left corner there, uh, the videotape flashing. So just sneak, uh, just um, slowly make your way around. You should start to see it flash. There it is. So make sure to pick this up before we exit. Because if you do end up exiting, well, man, you've just screwed it. Nah, you, you should be able to then just um, reload your last save and you should be fine. But we've now got all the video logs. So all that is done. So the only thing left to do now is finishing the game. So let us go through and finish the game. So go to the right. We're basically out into the music room. Go through the main door. And all it is now, you, we're just going to keep on going down the stairs. So keep on walking, keep on walking slowly. Might as well just dive straight down the middle. Be a bit quicker. You might have broken legs, but well, that's a risk we're willing to take. So anyway, for the next minute or so, you're just going to keep walking, walking, walking. Got a cowboy boot on. Oh man, I tell you what, even though we're just using our thumb, my legs are knackered, and I've got a hell of a sweat on just by walking down the stairs in-game. But anyway, there we go. So, through the door, go directly right, we're going to go down the main hallway, you can't actually interact with the double doors yet. So, don't worry about that, we're just going to go through the main hallway here. Spooky stuff's going to keep happening, but it's fine. Turn to the right, interact with these doors straight in front of us. Hey, my dude! Now, now this is basically the end of the game, so again, just uh, press and hold the right bumper to go all the way right. This is basically like a jukebox now, so press it to go all the way right. Little song is going to play before the final white crystal appears as if from nowhere. Now, if I knew this, why didn't we just get this from the start, eh? Heart, 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 heart. So what we're going to do now is just grab the white crystal, go down to the main hallway. Um, now there's nothing you can actually do for this part. Um, we've just got to wait until the, the boy and the father st stop going nuts, and then we can just go through the front door. But again, the front door is going to open automatically. So just stand here for a minute, have a look around if you wish. But eventually, the front door will open, and that'll be our cue to leave. <laughs> I mean, it really does take a while. I mean, if they could just stop arguing for two seconds and let me the hell in. Ah, there we go, look. So, yeah, just keep looking at the front door. As soon as it opens, we are going to beat the old demon with his own fist by shoving this diamond up his butt. 
and just keep walking. Nothing we can do, or nothing he can do. We're going to win. Interact with the red crystal here, and that will get us the Face Your Fear achievement. Which, of course, is another story-related one, but there we go. So now we can head through. Uh, the only thing we have to do is just walk all the way down. Basically, you just have to wait now until the um, dialogue stops. That's, that's pretty much it now. Uh, but just keep walking down, keep walking down. And eventually, the final cutscene, which again is unskippable, takes about a minute or two to complete, will start, and then that will get you the final achievement. Uh, one quick note on that final achievement. It should unlock literally about, for me it was about 20, 10 to 20 seconds um, during this final cutscene. If it doesn't happen again, um, <clears throat> so here we go, here we go with old 12-inch uh, man beer. That's... <laughs> I know what you've been doing, looking all red and sweaty. Was cops on? Yeah. Anyway, so what you need to do, if the achievement doesn't unlock here, just when it gets back to the main menu, continue again, do that last little section with the music jukebox, and go again, and it unlocked, personally, it unlocked the second time for me there. Uh, but that, that's if it doesn't unlock, just, again, go through to the main credits, and then press continue game, and you only have to do that last little section again, Job done. So there we go then, guys and gals. That was transference. Now, how did you think about that one? Really, really enjoyed that one. Ignore that, by the way. Um, that was just a little bit of an edit skip right there. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the game. I really do hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. A uh, big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. You guys and gals are absolutely legendary. And anyone who's actually donated just anything to me as a one-off, it really, really humbles me. Uh, so thank you so, so much to anyone who's who's ever done that again. And, uh, well, I guess I'll see you in the next sale, slash Game Pass game, slash whatever is coming up next. I'm going to leave you with big 12-inch right here, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> big love. This is Raymond Hayes, Harmony Research Lab, signing off.